In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Issue M. I'm going to assume you haven't installed the plugin yet. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Issue M. Then Issue M will come up at the top. Click Install Now. Yes. Then click Activate Plugin. So once the plugin is activated, the next thing we want to do is create a couple of pages. So we'll go to Pages, Add New, and the first one we're going to create is for the current issue. So I'm just going to call it Current Issue, and click Publish. You don't need any content. And we're going to create one for the issue archives. So for this page, I'm just going to call it Past Issues. Again, no content is needed. And then after that, we're going to go into Articles, Issue M Settings. And for page for articles, we're going to choose current issue. And then page for issue archives, we're going to cho choose past issues. Now, the rest of the settings you can change as needed. But uh, for this getting started video, we're going to leave everything else as default. Once you've got the settings the way you want them, click Save Settings. Then the next thing we're going to do is create an issue. So we'll go to Articles, Issues. And for this first issue, we're going to call it Summer 2014. I'm going to leave it as Draft, and then click Add New Issues. New issue will be created. We'll click on the title. We're going to leave the issue status as Draft again. We're going to upload a cover image, so I'll click on Browse. This can be any image. After you've uploaded your image, click Update. Now the next thing we're going to do is add articles to our issue. Go to Add New Article. And here I'm going to create a new article for our issue. I'm just going to paste in some lore map, some text. Then over here on the right, I'm going to assign this article to our newly created Summer 2014 issue. If I wanted to add a category or tag to this article, I could do that right here. I'm going to set a featured image, and this way it will show up if we use the featured rotator or featured thumbnails. Set featured image. And then down here at the bottom, I have Issue M article options, where I can choose to enter a teaser text, set uh, this article to be in the featured rotator, or set it to be in the featured thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a teaser text, and then I want this to be in both the rotator and the featured thumbnail. And click Publish. And let's go ahead and add another article. Again, we'll paste in some text. I'm going to go ahead and add this to Summer 2014. Let's set a featured image. I'm going to name this Indian Summer Single Track. And then for our issue in article options, we're going to add a teaser text. And I also want this to be in the featured rotator and the featured thumbnail. OK, next we're going to go to Appearance Widgets. And we're going to put in the cover image widget so that way the user knows what issue they are viewing. So in our widgets, we have the issue M active issue. So I'm just going to drag this to my main sidebar. And I'm going to have everything display. Click Save. And the last step is to go back to Articles, Issues. We're going to edit our current issue. And we're going to change the issue status to live. We'll click update. And now we go to the front end of the website. We'll see our current issue here in the sidebar. When we click on it, it will take us to our current issue page where we currently have our two articles, the featured rotator and the two featured thumbnails. You can click in and view the article for that issue.
And that's all you need to get started using Issue M to create your online magazine.